heaven we bless your name for this wonderful new day glory honor and power be unto you O lord our god thank you father for your faithfulness great and faithful god we praise you lord for you are the faithful one who give us all things to enjoy lord we thank you for we can declare like the psalmist that we slept now we are awake because you sustain us father we thank you for your sustaining power oh lord our god we worship you father we thank you great and mighty father we bless your name O lord because you are alone and holy you alone are just and you alone are the only wise god hallelujah to the lord god almighty thank you father lord jesus we thank you we are exceedingly grateful this morning for you are the true vine that not just us you are our everlasting portion we bless your name thank you lord holy spirit divine we thank you for you helping us to show forth the praises of him who has called lord out of darkness into light we bless your name thank you eternal rock of ages hallelujah to your name O lord in the name of jesus christ ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 and 4 says this i'm reading it from the amplifier by section it said blessed and worthy of praise be to the god and father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in christ just as in his love he chose us in christ before the foundation of the world so that we would be holy that is consecrated set apart for him purpose driven and blameless in his sight what of if I tell you this morning that everything you will ever need to live a better life has already been given to you by God? Will you believe me? What of if I tell you that all your prayers and requests have been granted already? I didn't say we be granted. I said I've already been granted. Yes, I know. You are not seeing them right now. But that is precisely what the Bible is saying here from this Ephesians that we are reading. It said, you are already blessed. And not just with one or two things, but with every blessing you ever need. You may ask how and where. Well, they are already released in the spirit realm. All we are doing today, whenever you come to prayer, is to command them to manifest. So with this understanding, we will no longer need to beg for things. We rest in the Lord and continue to speak authoritatively and command our desire to come forth in the physical. We read our Bible and we stand on the authority of the word of God. Where we are doing that, we will continue to offer praise, knowing fully well that our blessings are guaranteed. So when you pray, and as you come to prayer this morning, expect divine provision in your life because you are already abundantly blessed in Christ Jesus. That is the word of God this morning. It's a praise him for we are blessed in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So let us offer our praise. Let us praise him that heavenly Father, I thank you for blessing me with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. Oh, Lord, my Father, this morning, according to your word, I thank you for blessing me with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. I thank you that I'm already blessed. I'm not struggling to be blessed. I am already blessed. Thank you, mighty Father, for your the assurance that you have given to me this day. And I thank you that I am already blessed. I am not struggling to be blessed. I am already blessed. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord, your ways are perfect and your words are true. I surrender my fears and my worry to you. Father, Lord, your ways are perfect and your words are true. I surrender my fears and my worries to you. In the name of Jesus, I surrender all my doubt to you and I accept your word for my life. 
in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I surrender all my doubts to you and I accept your word for my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father, for I am blessed. I stand on the authority of your word this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray that the Lord will forgive us anything that will hinder us as we stand on the authority of the word of God this morning. If there's any sin, the sin of malice, you still keep in malice, the Lord will not hear us. Do not let deceive ourselves. If you're still in anger, the spirit of anger is still dominating you, confess this morning. Dishonesty, the, 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 you know, you deceive. Self-deception, you deceive yourself and you deceive others. You have wrong motive, let us confess this morning in whatever we do. Heavenly Father, you know me more than I know myself. I'm open before you and Lord, here am I. I confess my doubt, I confess my denial, I confess my deceit, I confess my, my laziness, my, my, my lapses, Lord. I confess them. In the name of Jesus, forgive me. My procrastination, Lord, I confess. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let us pray. If there's anyone that we need to forgive, that the Lord, if you know that particular person, this morning pray that you, this person, I forgive you for the wrong that you have done to me. Because the Bible says, forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtor. This morning, if you want to receive forgiveness, forgive others. Forgive that Lord this morning, by your grace, I forgive those who have disappointed me. I forgive those who have hurt me, Lord. I forgive those who have, you know, spoken words or kind words to me. And I know, and the words in harming me, Lord, I forgive them. Anyone who has hurt me, anyone who has disappointed me, anyone who has done anything against me this morning, Lord, I forgive them. I release them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father for the forgiveness that I receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, after we have done that, let us stand on the authority of the word of God this morning that I take authority over this day in the name of Jesus Christ. I take authority over this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and I draw upon heavenly resources today because the word of God says, I am blessed. God has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly realm in Christ Jesus. Therefore, I draw upon heavenly resources today in the name of Jesus Christ and I confess that this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus Christ I confess that this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and I will be glad in it in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name Amen Pray that, Lord, this morning, the fire of the enemy shall not burn me this day and my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, the fire of the enemy shall not burn me and my family this day. In the name of Jesus Christ, for my future and my family future are secured in Christ Jesus. My future, my family future are secured in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, let us pray that this day, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this son will not smite me and my household this day the sun will not smite me and my family this day in the name of jesus no the moon by night in the name of jesus Christ, the sun will not smite any member of my household this day in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen the word of god say that that the, 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 for the vision is yes to, for an appointed time, but at the end he shall speak and not lie. Though he tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. That is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never be too late for me to become what God wants me to become. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray this morning. It will never be too late. It will never be too late for my children, my grandchildren, for every member of my family to become what God wants them to become. In the name of Jesus Christ, because the Lord said that the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end, it shall speak. 
he cannot lie. Though he tarry, wait for it, but it will surely come. It will not tarry. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, pray that God give me a miracle that will don't find the word. You are God of miracle, oh Lord my Father. Give me a miracle that will don't find the word. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, give me a miracle that will don't find the word. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. Psalm 31 verse 15 says, My times are in the hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from them that persecute me. O oh Lord, my Father, my times are in the hand. Deliver me, Lord, from the hand of my enemies and from them that persecute me. You are my deliverer. Lord, deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I command every opposing me to bow in the name of Jesus Christ, every opposing knee to my breakthrough, every opposing knee to my sources, every opposing knee to my peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to bow in the name of Jesus Christ because the word of God say, at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the authority in the word of God, I command every opposing knee to bow. You must bow in the name of Jesus Christ, every opposing me to my joy, to my to, to my peace, to my breakthrough, to my progress, to my success, to my family success. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to bow. You must bow. For the name of Jesus, every name must bow. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, speak to that particular thing that is troubling you and tell them that at the name of Jesus Christ, you must bow. In the name of Jesus, whether it's sickness, whatever it is this morning, you must bow. For at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee must bow. Both in earth, on heaven, and underneath the earth, they must bow. Therefore, you must bow. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen standing on the word of God. I command my enemies to become my full stool. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command my enemies to become my full stool. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command my enemies to become my full stool. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Oh Lord, my Father, let me experience victory in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord, let me experience victory in every area of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, you are the one that gives us victory. Be victory belongs to the Lord. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, let me experience victory in every area of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, I pray, let all my luck of blessing rebel and come out of the prison in the name of Jesus Christ. Let all my lock of blessing rebel and come out of the prison in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray, let all my lock of blessing rebel and come out of the prison in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh Lord, let all the attackers hiding within the tower of the enemy be revealed in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let all attackers hiding within the tower of the enemy be revealed. Let them be revealed. Let them be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let all attackers hiding within the tower of the enemy be revealed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be revealed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Lord, let every evil association against me be severely destabilized in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, this morning, let every evil association against me be severely destabilized in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, let every evil association against me, against my household, be severely destabilized in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I bind every activity and operation of the devil 
in my environment in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every activity and operation of the devil in my environment, in my children's environment. I bind it in the name of Jesus Christ. Standing on the authority of the word of God this morning. For I am already blessed in heavenly places. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bind every activity and operation of the devil in my environment. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. I challenge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. And I command strangers to flee in the name of Jesus Christ. I challenge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. And I command strangers to flee in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God say, strangers shall come out of their close places. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command, according to the authority of the word of God, any strangers in my body, in the name of Jesus, I command you, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Strangers shall flee out of their close places. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, any strange things that is so pretty, that is not to be in our body or in our life, in our family, in the name of Jesus, hear the word of the Lord. Strangers shall flee out of their close places. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, out of my life, out of my children's life, out of my body, in the name of Jesus Christ, you must flee. That is the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. All physical and spiritual sicknesses, flee in the name of Jesus Christ. All physical and spiritual sicknesses, Flee in the name of Jesus Christ, for strangers shall flee out of their close places. All physical and spiritual sicknesses flee in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, let all the wicked spirits around me fall by their own wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, my Father, let all the wicked spirits around me, around my family, fall up by their own wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord my Father. Let all the wicked spirits around me fall by their own wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Any good thing that the enemy has removed in my life be returned immediately in the name of Jesus Christ. Any good thing that the enemy has removed in my life, in the life of my children, in the name of Jesus Christ, be returned. Be returned immediately in the name of Jesus because you are a thief. Any good thing that the enemy has removed in my life, in my household, in the name of Jesus Christ, be returned immediately in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, be returned immediately in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, let my name become thunder, become fire and like in the hand of those calling it for evil purposes. In the name of Jesus Christ, let my name, my children's name, my grandchildren's name, my spouse's name become thunder, fire and lightning. In the hands of those calling it for evil purposes. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord my Father. Let my name, as they mention my name, let it become thunder, fire, and lightning in their hands. And uh, for those who call in it for evil purposes, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Pray that, my Father, this day, Lord, whatever, all that you have for me, I claim them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the spirit of fever. Let the spirit of cancer envelop me in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, let the spirit of favor, spirit of cancer envelop me, envelop my children in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Let us pray that, my Father. Let me find favor. Let me find compassion and loving kindness with you. Concerning my career, concerning my business, concerning my marriage, concerning whatever it is concerning this morning. Pray that, Lord, let me find favor, compassion, and loving kindness with you concerning this issue in the name of Jesus. Whether the issue is about your business, about your career, about your ministry. 
pray this morning, mighty God, you are the God of that surrounds us with favor. The Bible says it is the Lord who blesses the righteous, is surrounding with favor as we take, as we take, you know, garments this morning. Oh, Father Lord, let me find favor. Surround me with favor in my business, in my ministry, in my career. Oh, Lord, I pray, surround me with favor. Surround my children with favor. Lord God Almighty, with compassion and loving kindness, oh Lord. Your compassion, your love never fail. They endure forever. So, Lord, this morning, I ask for favor. I ask for mercy. I ask for loving kindness, oh Lord, that you will surround us in the name of Jesus Christ. And concerning the issue that we have, that is making us to wake up early in the morning to cry unto you, oh Lord our God. You are the God that answers prayer. And I pray that, Lord, this morning, that you will answer. Answer your people, oh Lord. Answer our cry, mighty Father. Lord God Almighty, you say call unto me and I will answer. Yes, Lord, you have promised to answer. So, Father Lord, whatever be the need, we know that you are sufficiency for all our need, oh Lord. And your word already told us that we are blessed already. So, Father Lord, we pray that you will bless us mightily this morning. In the name of Jesus, God, let us pray that my angel of blessing manifest today in the name of Jesus Christ. My angel of blessing manifest today in the name of Jesus Christ. My angel of blessing manifest today in the name of Jesus Christ. Angel of breakthrough manifest today in the name of Jesus. That I have breakthrough today in the name of Jesus. Angel of breakthrough manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Angel of breakthrough manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Let us go to the word of God before we continue our prayer this morning. And I'm going to read from Romans chapter 5. I will read verses 1 through 5 to put it in context. Romans chapter 5. I'm reading what it means to be acceptable to God. He said, therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured onto, out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Hope, peace and hope. These verses 1 through to 5 introduce a section that contains some difficult concepts. These verses help us to keep in mind two-sided reality of the Christian life. On the one hand, we are complete in Christ. Our acceptance with him is secured. On the other hand, we are growing in Christ. We are becoming more and more like him. At one and at the same time, we have the status of king and the duties of slaves. We feel both the presence of Christ and the pressure of sin. We enjoy the peace that comes from being made right with God. But we still face daily problems that often help us grow. If we remember these two sides of the Christian life, we will not grow discouraged as we face temptations and problems. Instead, we will learn to depend on the power available for us 
from Christ who lives in us by his Holy Spirit. You know, for the first Christians, you know, century Christian, sovereign was the rule rather than the exception. Paul tells us that in the future we will become, but until then we must overcome. This means we will experience difficulties that help us grow. We rejoice in sovereign, not because we like pain or, or deny his tragedy, but because we know God is using life's difficulties and Satan attacks to build our character. The problems that we run into will develop our perseverance which in turn will strengthen our character, deepen our trust in God, and give us greater confidence about the future. You probably find your patience tested in some way every day. Let us thank God for those opportunities to grow and deal with them in His strength. And Paul is encouraging us to boast in our hope and glory in our sufferings. Who glory in sufferings? It is those who have hope. How do we get hope through suffering? None of us would choose suffering if we had the choice. However, it should not surprise us that we suffer. Jesus told his disciples that they will suffer in this world and all those who follow him suffer. We don't necessarily suffer because we follow Jesus, but following Jesus requires an understanding that we will suffer. The fact that Paul says suffering produces perseverance should tell us something about the nature of suffering. I don't have to persevere if something doesn't last, as much as we want suffering to be short, we often suffer for a long time. Sometimes weeks, months, years. Perseverance requires patience and teaches us many lessons. And each of these lessons involves God's fingerprints on us. Those suffering through suffering and our perseverance, God is molding us, forming our character through the fire of affliction. When we take the time to look at ourselves through the process, we can see the, the formation taking place. Our responses to suffering provide the atmosphere for the work that is done in us. If we are resistant and competitive toward God, it does not pin our hand down and change us by force. No. We are left to suffer in our suffering. If we are prayerfully and pliable, God will form his character in us and show us the hope that comes from becoming more like him. We do not choose to suffer, but we choose how we respond. And that choice make all the difference. That choice, in everything you do, that choice, choice that you make every day, make the difference in your life. Whatever the enemy will throw on your way, how you respond, the choice you make in your response, and remember, the devil is not going to come with any black or any mask in your the face. It will come through your fellow, the person you're living with in the house. It will come through your trusted friend. Sometimes that is why you have to pray for the spirit of discernment so that you will not fall into temptation. Christ said we should pray. Deliver us from evil. And let us not fall into temptation. So in our daily life, 
or make choices. So what choice do you want to make? And remember, you can choose how we respond to everything that comes our way. And that choice makes all the difference this morning. We boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our suffering. Because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. We are people of hope. That is what it takes to know God, what it means to be acceptable to God. Because we have peace and we have hope. And I pray that the peace of God we dwell in your hearts more abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. So let us pray this morning that we are people of hope. That thank you, Lord, and that every choice that we make this day, Lord, let it be according to your word in the name of Jesus Christ. We are people of hope. Let us thank the Lord for the power of the Holy Spirit that is working in us. He said, you know, he said, the last part of the day, and hope does not put to shame because God's love has been poured out into our heart through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So let us thank the Lord for the power of the Holy Spirit that is working in us in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, the Holy Spirit that is that has poor you know who is within me is in me you have given it to me and i thank you lord for your love that has been poured into my heart through the holy spirit thank you mighty father in the name of jesus christ let us make confession of sin and repentance again you know from the what we have had now do you perceive it? you the one that complain you lose hope already for what you are going through, no, the Bible says we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through we have gained access, we gain access by faith into this grace that we now stand. Thank Him. Let us pray that Father, let the Holy Spirit fill me afresh in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, everything we depend on the Holy Spirit, you know, is with us. He goes around with us. He abides with us. Holy Spirit, feel me afresh. In the name of Jesus, make your presence known in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, feel me afresh. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Father, let every unbroken area in my life be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, let every unbroken area in my life be broken. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every unbroken area in my life be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh Lord, my Father. Incubate me with the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father God, incubate me with the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. If the Bible say that the, the Holy Spirit is given to us this morning, Lord, incubate me with the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let every answer power bondage break. In my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, let every answer, power, bondage break in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, I pray. Let every answer, power, bondage break in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the life of my children. Father, Lord, let every answer, power, bondage break in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let all strangers flee from my spirit. And let the Holy Spirit take control in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let all strangers flee from my spirit. And let the Holy Spirit take control. Holy Spirit, you are our counselor. You are our helper. You are our comforter. Come and take control. 
control. Take control of my life. Take control of my children's life. Take control of my grandchildren's life. Take control of my spouse, so Holy Spirit. Take control of every member of my household. In this household, Holy Spirit, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ, you know you can invite Holy Spirit in every situation. In your business, take control. That Holy Spirit, God might be my senior partner in my business. In the name of Jesus Christ, in my career, Holy Spirit, I need your help. Come and take control. In my business, in my ministry, Holy Spirit, show forth your power. In the name of Jesus Christ, come and take control. On this prayer line, Holy Spirit, come and take control. In the name of Jesus Christ, come and take control, Holy Spirit. Come and take your place, Holy Spirit, in our life, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Oh, Lord, my Father, catapult my spiritual life to the mountain top in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, catapult my spiritual life to the mountain top in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, catapult my spiritual life to the mountain top in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, the more we draw closer to God, the more our battle will be won for us. We do not need to be praying every day. Break down, go in the name of Jesus. No, we do not need that. The more we pray and we draw our people closer to God, the more God will fight for us. So pray that Lord catapult my spiritual life to the mountain top in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. My Father, let heaven open and let the glory of God fall upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, let heaven open. Let the glory of God fall upon me, fall upon my household in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, let the heaven open. Let the glory of God fall upon me, upon my career, upon my business, upon my ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, for my children, I pray. Let heaven open. Let the glory of God pour fall upon their life, upon their career, upon their business. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. Oh Lord my God, let signs and wonders be my Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are the God of wonders. You are the God of miracle. Oh Lord my Father, let signs and wonders be my Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, let signs and wonders be my Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, God of wonders, come and do wonders. In my life. Come and do wonders in my children's life. Come and do wonders in our prayer ministry. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, let us say wonders. Be our Lord. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. In the name of Jesus, I decree the joy of the oppressors upon my life to turn into sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I decree that the joy of the oppressors upon my life, upon my children's life, will turn into sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the joy of the oppressors upon my life, upon my children's life, turn into sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. My Father. Let all multiple strong men operating against me be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, let all multiple strong men operating against me, against my children, against my family, let them be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, let all multiple strong men operating against me, against my household, be paralyzed in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh Lord. Open my eyes and ears to receive wondrous things from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, open my eyes and ears to receive wondrous things from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, open my eyes and ears to receive wondrous things from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. O oh Lord, my Father, grant me victory over every temptation and satanic device in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, grant me victory over every temptation and satanic device in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, grant me victory over every temptation and satanic device in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. My Father, ignite my spiritual life so that I will stop fishing 
in unprofitable waters in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, ignite my spiritual life so that I will stop fishing in unprofitable waters in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, my Father, ignite my spiritual life so that I will stop fishing in unprofitable waters in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh Lord, my Father, release your tongues of fire upon my life and burn away all spiritual filthiness in me in the name of jesus christ my lord and my father release your tongue of fire upon my life and burn away all spiritual filthiness in me in the name of jesus christ lord burn it away all spiritual filthiness in me in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen oh lord my father make me to hunger and thirst for righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, make me to hunger and thirst for righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, this morning I pray, make me to hunger and thirst for righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, make my children and every member of my household to hunger and thirst for righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. My Father, help me to be ready to do your work without expecting any recognition from others. In the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, help me to be ready to do your work without expecting any recognition from others. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, help me to be ready to do your work without expecting any recognition from others. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. This morning, let us pray. That my father give me victory over emphasizing the weaknesses and sin of others people while ignoring my home in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says you can see the speck on others people, but the log in your eyes. Pray that Lord my Father give me victory over emphasizing the weaknesses and sins of others people while ignoring my home in the name of jesus christ lord give me victory over emphasizing the weaknesses and sins of others people while ignoring my home in the name of jesus christ you see what others are doing wrong but you never see yourself this morning pray that my father my lord give me victory over emphasizing the weaknesses and sins of others people people while ignoring my home in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen let us pray that lord give me depth and foothold in my faith in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father give me depth and foothold in my faith in the name of jesus christ give me depth and foothold in my faith in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen oh lord Heal every dot of backsliding in my spiritual life in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father God, heal every dot of backsliding in my spiritual life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray that, my Father, open my understanding concerning scriptures in the name of jesus christ father lord open my understanding concerning the scriptures in the name of jesus christ open my understanding concerning the scriptures in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen let this, this is going to be our final prayer then say pray lord help me to live each day recognizing that the day will come when you will just secret lives and in a most thought in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father, help me, Lord, to live each day recognizing that the day will come when you will judge sacred lives and innermost thoughts in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, this morning, Lord, help each and every one of us to live each day recognizing that the day will come when you, the judge, the righteous judge, will judge the sacred lives and innermost thoughts in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you everlasting father thank you lord because we know that we stand on this hope oh lord and this grace we stand oh lord our father lord that we gain access by faith into this grace and we wish we now stand thank you lord and we boast in the hope of the glory of god blessed be to your name hallelujah be to your name lord in jesus name we pray amen amen let us go to our intercession now
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. This morning we are interceding for the single. We are praying for the single. They are getting double portion today. That is the plan of God for today. Praise the Lord. Uh, Psalm 68 verse 1 says, Let God arise, let his enemy be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. Thank you, Father. So this morning, as we lift our singles up, let us begin to pray. We want to really pray for them this morning, and the Lord will hear us in the name of Jesus. Let us pray that the rage of the wicked against the singles will be rendered impotent in the name of Jesus. Every rage of the wicked against the life, the destiny of all our single brethren will be rendered impotent in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we lift our single before you this morning, oh, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that every rage of the wicked against the life, against the destiny of every single individual, every single brethren, be it our children, be it our loved ones, be it our friend, Father, Lord, that it will be rendered impotent by the power in the name of Jesus. Let us pray that every imagination of the wicked against the single will be neutralized. This day, in the name of Jesus, as we lift them up before the throne of grace, that every imagination of the wicked against every single individual, in the name of Jesus, be neutralized. Be neutralized. In the name of Jesus, be neutralized. Every imagination of the wicked against the single ones. In the name of Jesus, be neutralized. In the mighty name of Jesus, be neutralized. In the name of Jesus, let us pray that every band of the wicked that is arresting the progress of the single ones, barely break in the name of Jesus. Every band of the wicked arresting the progress of all singles in our midst, in our environment, in our church, in our family, break now in the name of Jesus. If you have anybody in particular at this time, we can put their names there as we pray. Every band of the wicked that is arresting the progress of our singles in our midst, in our family, in our household, in our family, break now. In the name of Jesus, break, 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 break. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray that every cord of darkness that is militating against our singles for their breakthroughs, let that cord, let that cord be cut off now. In the name of Jesus, every cord of darkness militating against the breakthroughs of every single brothers and sisters, children, loved ones, in the name of Jesus, break now, break and shatter to pieces. In the name of Jesus, every cord of darkness militating against the breakthroughs of all our single children, all our single loved ones, break. In the name of Jesus, break, break. In the mighty name of Jesus, break, break, break. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. In the name of Jesus, that every stubborn pursuers in the life of our single ones, that the Lord will dash their power. Let God dash their power to pieces. In the name of Jesus, O oh God our Father, dash the power of all our single ones, their stubborn pursuers, dash their power to pieces. In the name of Jesus, dash their power to pieces by the power in the name and the blood of Jesus. Eh? Dash their power to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray in the name of Jesus that God will arise with his weapons of war and fight the battles for all our singles because by their own they cannot fight the battles. Eh? Let us pray, O oh God, arise with all your weapons of war. Fight the battles for all our single ones. In the name of Jesus, fight their battles for them. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray. God is the lifter of our glory. Let us pray that God will be the glory and the lifter of our single ones. In the mighty name of Jesus, that they will find favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray that God will be their shield in every situation. In the name of Jesus, oh Father, 
be the shield for all our single ones, all our single children. We leave them before you this morning. All our single family members, our church member. You know, think of anybody at this time. Pray for them. Put their name there if you know their names. Eh? In the name of Jesus, be their shield, O oh Lord God, in every situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord our Father, we cry unto you this morning on behalf of all the singles in our lives, eh? in, our, in our community. Lord, hear our prayer from your holy hill this morning. In the name of Jesus, hear us, O oh Lord God on behalf of all the single ones among us, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 49, 25 says, But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with thee and I will save thy children. Is the promise of God that he will save our children. Oh, let us begin to thank God. Let us thank God, you know, for, for release this morning, release of favor, release of that man, release of that woman that the Lord has preordained, you know, for that son, for that daughter, in the name of Jesus, as husband, as wife, let us praise the name of the Lord because he is the only one that can do it. He is the only perfect matchmaker. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you because you are the only perfect matchmaker in the whole wide world, Lord. There is no one as perfect as you in matchmaking couples, O Lord God. So, Father, we thank you for that power this morning. We thank you for the release of that man for that woman. We thank you for the release of that woman for that man uh, that we are lifting up this morning. Every of our single ones, oh Lord God. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, we are asking that you will send forth your worried angels to battle on behalf of all our singles. Eh? All of our single sons, all of our single daughters, Lord, send forth your warring angels to battle on their behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, send forth your warring angels to battle on behalf of this ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we lift our singles before you this morning, Lord, we reject the provision of counterfeit powers for them by the enemy in the name of Jesus, because we know. There's a divine man for that woman. There's a divine woman for that man. So, Father, this morning, we stand in gap uh, for all our singles uh, and we reject the provision of counterfeit spells for them by the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we reject it by the power in the name and the blood of Jesus. We reject counterfeit spells uh, for all of this ones. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand in the gap this morning for all our singles. Uh, and we call that woman, we call that woman out of obscurity into the life of that man. We call that man out of obscurity into the life of that woman. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, for all our male child, uh, we call that woman that you have purposely divine for them. We call her out. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we call that man uh, that is divinely proposed for our, our daughters. Uh, we call him out of obscurity this morning into the light of God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, we call them out. Uh, we call them out from their hiding places. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that every barrier, whatever that barrier is, whatever that name they, they are giving that barrier, every barrier, be it in the male, be it in the female, every barrier, or be it environmental barrier, every barrier that is keeping, you know, our singles uh, from meeting the right one, uh, from meeting their proposed one, uh, yo, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we dissolve those barriers this morning. In the name of Jesus, uh, we dissolve those barriers. Be it self, self erected barriers, you know, by the male or by the female due to circumstances, due to situation. Father, we dissolve those barriers not this day in the name of Jesus. Uh, we break down those barriers uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, we speak 
we will ask uh, that you will speak to their heart, uh, whatever it is uh, that make that barrier to be erected. Uh, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, you will take care of their mind. Uh, you will take care of their souls. Uh, in the name of Jesus, let us pray. In the name of Jesus, uh, because it's not always you know environmental barrier. Sometimes it's personal barriers. Uh, that these ones have erected in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pull down those barriers this day by the power in the name and the blood of Jesus. Any barrier, be it personal barrier, be it satanic barrier, be it environmental barriers, Lord, we pull them down this morning. That is keeping our singles from meeting their, their, their divine partner. Lord, we dissolve that barrier this morning. Oh, we break it down. This morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh, Father, we pray. As we are lifting our singles before you, Lord, Father, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, eh? that it won't just be anybody. It will be that man, oh, that, that is after your heart. Eh? It will be that woman that is after your heart. Eh? That woman that loves you, Lord, wholeheartedly, that is ready to do your will, eh? that is ready to help our male child eh? to fulfill their destiny, that is ready to to help our female child uh, to fulfill their destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, Father, Lord, uh, bring the right ones, oh, Lord God, to all the single ones, oh, Lord God, because everyone has their destiny. Oh, Father, Lord, uh, a partner that will help them to fulfill and live in their destiny. Father, Lord, bring it to them. In the name of Jesus, bring it to them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we are thanking you this morning because, oh, Lord God, you have done it in the past and you will do it again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Father, we are asking that the Holy Spirit who is our teacher, who is our enabler, who is our illuminator. Oh, Father, Lord, that that it will bring uh, our single ones uh, to, to the right place at the right time, the right place where their divine partner is, uh, you will bring them there in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name. We worship you. We adore you this morning. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you because you have heard us uh, and you have answered us uh, concerning our singles this morning. Father, we give you all the praise. Lord, we give you all the adoration. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Father, Lord, because you will lead our singles, Lord. You will lead them, O Lord God, to the right place, to the right time. You will lead them to righteousness. In the name of Jesus, we worship you, Father. We adore you. Thank you, righteous Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Good morning, everyone. Hallelujah. Good morning, Lord. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to go to our prayer for the 21 day prayer and fasting. This is our seven days. God is faithful. In the eternal Father, we thank you, Lord. Ever faithful, ever sure is your promises. Lord, we thank you for your grace that have sustained us, O Lord, for the past seven days, Lord, that we 